How major U.S. stock indexes fared Friday, 3-15-2024? Associated Press FAA to investigate missing panel on United Flight 433. Bloomberg. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, is investigating after a missing panel was discovered on a United Airlines plane that landed in Oregon. United Flight 433, which departed from San Francisco, landed safely at Oregon's Medford Airport with 139 passengers and six crew members on board. The airline will conduct a thorough examination of the plane, a Boeing 737 to 800 aircraft and perform any necessary repairs before it returns to service. Airline safety has been in the spotlight recently following the blowout of a Boeing 737 MAX door plug on January 5, although this incident involves a different type of aircraft. Gold beans all the rage with China's Gen Z as deflation bites. Bloomberg. Young Chinese consumers are increasingly turning to gold beans as a safe investment in an era of economic uncertainty. Gold beans, which are as light as 1 gram and come in glass jars, are popular among the younger generation who have lost faith in traditional investments. Despite warnings from experts that the price of gold beans is often 10 to 30 percent higher than the commodity spot price, the trend for gold beans and other gold accessories continues to grow. Gold bullion has recently hit historic highs, reaching over $2,100 per ounce for the first time. From ballet shoes to gumboots, Queenslander pirouettes from performing arts to raising beef cattle. ABC. A former ballerina has executed a career pirouette to become a beef cattle farmer, unwittingly highlighting a potential alternative for those unable to crack the property market and willing to roll up their sleeves. Queenslander Alison Russell was involved in the performance dance industry for 30 years before a combination of injury, motherhood, divorce and COVID-19 saw her take the leap into agriculture. Sale of Hong Kong Mansion signals luxury property rebound after curbs lifted. South China Morning Post. Hong Kong's luxury housing market is showing signs of a revival following the scrapping of property curbs as a 90-year-old converted manor house in Pak Fu Lam changed hands for $26.5 million. Shanho Property Investments bought the 12,288-square-feet Jessville Manor from Samsbury Investments, according to a stock exchange filing, and is expected to benefit from the removal of cooling measures and an anticipated interest rate cut. Boeing criminal probe widens with Seattle grand jury subpoena. Bloomberg. Federal prosecutors are investigating the mid-air blowout of a Boeing door plug on Alaska Airlines Flight 2613. The U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Washington has convened a grand jury investigation into the incident, which occurred on January 5. The subpoena seeks documents and communications relating to Boeing and Spirit Aerosystems holdings, as well as references to the door plug used in Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft. Prosecutors are reportedly also interested in correspondence and records between Boeing and other MAX 9 operators aside from Alaska Airlines. Brevan Howard cuts about 10% of traders amid hedge fund losses. Bloomberg. Hedge fund Brevan Howard Asset Management is cutting around 10% of its trading staff, or around two dozen traders, after a review of performance, according to anonymous sources. The flagship master fund, which has $12.4 billion in assets under management, has experienced a 3% slump this year. The cuts come as hedge funds face increased scrutiny due to high fees and poor returns. Hong Kong securities watchdog places major crypto exchange Bybit on alert list. South China Morning Post. The Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission, SFC, has placed cryptocurrency exchange Bybit on an alert list, warning investors about trading on the platform. The SFC stated that Bybit has offered cryptocurrency investment products to Hong Kong investors even though it is not licensed to operate in the city. Bybit has applied for a license in Hong Kong and said it was unable to comment on specific products or regulatory inquiries. The SFC's warning reflects Hong Kong's efforts to ensure local cryptocurrency activities adhere to existing virtual asset regulations. Reddit IPO, NVIDIA event, Fed decision, what to watch. Yahoo. 
Next week, investors will be closely watching the Federal Open Market Committee FOMC, meeting, particularly the release of the Fed.plot which reveals FOMC members' estimates for interest rate cuts. Reddit is set to make its IPO debut on the NYSE on March 21 with a share price between $31 and $34. NVIDIA's annual GTC conference will take place from March 18 to 21, featuring a keynote speech by CEO Jensen Huang. Nike, Lululemon, General Mills, and Micron will also release earnings reports next week. Young people don't want to be plumbers. That's a problem for U.S. infrastructure. Bloomberg. The U.S. is facing a shortage of plumbers as more baby boomer plumbers reach retirement age and there aren't enough young people entering the industry to fill the gap. The shortage of plumbers, pipefitters, and steamfitters is expected to worsen in the coming years. The shortage could have implications for America's infrastructure and economy, as projects may be delayed and costs may increase. The water aspect of the green energy transition also relies on skilled plumbers, and without enough workers, the country may struggle to meet its sustainability targets. There are several reasons behind the shortage of young people entering the plumbing industry. Many young people see plumbing as tough and dirty work and are not excited by the prospect of fixing toilets all day. However, plumbers argue that the work is varied and satisfying, and plumbers can see projects being completed and problems being resolved. Plumbers also enjoy stable employment and good salaries. The shortage of plumbers is not unique to the U.S. Construction and other industries are also facing shortages of skilled labor. The plumbing shortage is particularly concerning because plumbers are critical for ensuring clean drinking water and for undertaking plumbing work in the event of natural disasters. The shortage of plumbers could lead to delays in construction projects, increased costs, and potential difficulties in meeting green energy targets. Efforts are being made to encourage more young people to enter the plumbing industry, including by countering misconceptions about the work and highlighting the benefits of a plumbing career, such as job security and financial rewards. Good news is good news again in markets. Financial Times. The calm in the markets this week in response to higher-than-expected U.S. inflation data suggests that interest rates are no longer dominating global markets. Instead, the high rates are seen as a bullish sign for risky assets like stocks. However, some investors remain cautious, with concerns that the U.S. economy could still slide into recession and that animal spirits in markets could push up inflation rates. Overall, the market's mindset is shifting around higher rates, with many investors no longer nervous about rates staying high. Forex US dollar poised for biggest weekly gain since mid-January, yen falls ahead of BOJ. Yahoo! The US dollar rose to a one-week high as US economic data confirmed the economy remained stable with small pockets of weakness. The dollar index, which tracks the US currency against six major peers, was set to post a weekly gain of 0.7%, the largest since mid-January. Data on Friday showed a solid US manufacturing sector, with output up 0.8% last month after a downwardly revised 1.1% decline in the prior month. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.